works of the companions of Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq alayhi salam, you find, for instance, Imam al-Sadiq when he talks about the body, the biology, the different functions of the body, the liver, the kidney, the spleen, right? You find that the Imam alayhi salam talks about the circulation of blood in the body. At the time, especially in Arabia, people did not have a proper conception of the circulatory system of the body. And so Al Imam al-Sadiq is credited with being the one who actually shed light on the circulation of blood in the body. And once his companions wrote this in their works, later this was taken to parts of Spain, to parts of Europe, and that really accelerated modern medicine. Because there were many scientists who were looking at these works and this helped them better understand how the body functions, better understand the circulation of blood. So yes, that is true. We have hadiths from the Imam alayhi salam in which he does talk about that. Also the elements, right? The Imam alayhi salam talks about the four main elements. Jabir ibn Hayyan has chapters and chapters dedicated to this. Other companions of the Imam also document that we went to an Imam Ja'far ibn Muhammad and he taught us the natural sciences and he spoke about the four main elements. And this is just a drop from the ocean of the knowledge of an Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq alayhi salam. There is an interesting book, interesting book. I don't know if it's translated into English. I've seen the Arabic version. Maybe it's translated into English. But basically the, the book is how Western scholars and scientists have come to know Al Imam al Sadiq alayhi salam. Al Imam al Sadiq kama arafahu ulama ul gharb. It's a fascinating book. It mentions these details. Like, what are the theories that the Westerners took from Al Imam al Sadiq alayhi salam?